The racing world is buzzing as Kyle Busch Motorsports takes a sharp turn off the track and into the courtroom, suing Rev Racing over a high-stakes financial feud. This isn't just about dollars, it's a drama that could shake the foundations of racing partnerships in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Stay tuned to NASCAR Zone to find out, but before we get into that, hit that subscribe button. KBM has thrown down the legal gauntlet, suing Rev Racing. Why, you ask? Well, it all boils down to money, as many things often do. KBM claims that Rev Racing hasn't been keeping up with their end of the deal that they shook hands on. This isn't just pocket change we're talking about. It's a hefty sum that's causing quite the stir. Now, for those not in the know, both KBM and Rev Racing are pretty big deals in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. This isn't just a spat in some backwater racing league. It's major news in one of the premier racing series in the United States. KBM has been a powerhouse, churning out wins and championships like they're going out of style. On the other side, Rev Racing carries its weight too, known for its commitment to diversity and developing talent in the racing world. The lawsuit? Well, it's more than just a legal battle. It's a clash of titans in the truck racing world. It's got fans, of drivers, and even casual observers sitting up a bit straighter, eager to see how this high-octane drama unfolds. So buckle up, folks. We're in for a bumpy ride as we delve deeper into this showdown between Kyle Busch Motorsports and Rev Racing. Picture this. It's 2022, and these two racing outfits decide to join forces for the 2023 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season. Now, this isn't just any handshake agreement. We're talking about a full-blown partnership where KBM, the seasoned veterans of the track, would lend a helping hand to Rev Racing by sharing their tech, trucks, and even some of the crew. Yeah, certainly we are excited about that chance and that opportunity to work a little bit more closely uh, alongside these guys at Rev Racing. So for me, you know, having that chance of being able to see some of the Rev alumni come through KBM, KBM alumni, and now make it into the Cup Series, to be able to further add to that with Nick, I'm, I'm really excited about. So. KBM was supposed to provide the muscle in the form of race trucks and equipment and the brains with their technical know-how and personnel to help Rev Racing make a splash in the truck series. This partnership was supposed to be a win-win. Rev Racing would get a leg up in the competition with top-tier resources and KBM would flex its muscles as not just a competitor but also a mentor and benefactor in the racing community. They agreed on a deal that involves some serious cash flow. We're talking about monthly installments that would make most of us dizzy just thinking about it. But as we all know, even the best laid plans can hit a speed bump or two. This partnership, meant to be a powerhouse alliance, somehow took a wrong turn on the track to success. Now with lawsuits flying, it's clear this team up didn't quite hit the checkered flag as expected. Let's dive deeper into what went down and where things started to unravel. KBM threw the yellow flag on their deal claiming that Rev Racing's been a bit light on the gas when it comes to their end of the bargain. Let's break it down. KBM and Rev Racing had this $2.9 million handshake, right? That's like a mountain of cash meant to grease the wheels of their alliance for the 2023 season. But according to KBM, Rev Racing's piggy bank came up about $325,000 short. That's not just chump change you find under the couch cushions. We're talking about a serious stack of dough that was supposed to fuel their partnership. But wait, there's more. It's not just about the unpaid balance. KBM is also revving their engines over some additional cash, to the tune of $48,750 in interest for these late payments. But before we continue, kindly make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for each and every update. In the fast-paced world of NASCAR, this kind of money drama is like a pit stop gone wrong. You're there, ready for a quick tire change and fuel top off, but instead, you get a lug nut jam and spill gas all over pit lane. This lawsuit has all the makings of a classic racing feud, with high stakes, big personalities, and now, a legal battle that's got everyone grabbing their popcorn. So, KBM and Rev Racing had this deal, right? A roadmap of payments was laid out, kind of like a race strategy. Only instead of plotting pit stops, they were scheduling cash drops. 
this wasn't supposed to be rocket science. It was more like following a GPS to the treasure chest. But according to KBM, Rev Racing must have had their GPS set to scenic route because they've been taking some detours on these payments. KBM claims that Rev Racing's been a bit like that friend who always forgets their wallet when it's time to split the check. First, they were late on the gas money. Then they only threw in a few bucks when they owed a whole tank. Specifically, KBM says there were a few instances where Rev Racing's payments were more like a trickle than the promised flood. We're talking partial payments when full tanks were expected, and sometimes those payments were arriving later than a backmarker on race day. Now, KBM wasn't looking to start a pit road brawl right away. They tried to wave the white flag and sort things out without making a scene. They were hoping Rev Racing would catch up, make good on the deal, and they could all get back to racing. But as the laps ticked by and those payments didn't appear, KBM decided it was time to throw down the gauntlet and take this race to the courtroom. First up, we've got Rev Racing stepping into the spotlight with a vibe that's a mix of chill and confident. They're not hitting the panic button just yet. In fact, they're talking about accounting and partner fund allocations like they're flipping through a high school math book. To hear them tell it, this whole mix-up is just a big misunderstanding. Something that can be smoothed over with a bit of paperwork and maybe a friendly chat over coffee. They're all about finding that peaceful middle ground, aiming for an amicable resolution that'll have everyone back to racing without any hard feelings. Now, flip the script to Kyle Busch Motorsports. KBM stance? They're all geared up and ready for the legal race, helmets on and gloves strapped tight. From their cockpit, this isn't just about missed payments, it's principle, it's business, and sometimes you got to throw down in court to get your point across. They're looking at this lawsuit not as a detour, but as the necessary path to cross the finish line on this whole payment debacle. For KBM, it's not just about the cash. It's about making sure deals are honored and the race goes on, both on and off the track. So there you have it. On one side, Rev Racing is hoping to dial down the drama, banking on a handshake and a smile to clear the air. On the other, KBM is suiting up for battle, ready to let the judges wave the checkered flag on this dispute. Think about the bigger picture here. This legal dust-up between Kyle Busch Motorsports and Rev Racing isn't just a spicy headline. It's got some real under-the-hood implications for everyone involved and even the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series as a whole. For the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, it's like a plot twist in the season's storyline. Everyone loves a good drama, but when it spills off the track and into the courts, it adds a layer of complexity to the competition. It's not just about who's got the fastest truck anymore, it's also about who's got their legal and financial game on point. So that's all for this video. Hit that subscribe button for more NASCAR updates.